and we are back with another Worldwide Chocolate Flight Club package. We're in August 2023, and today, the day of recording, is actually National S'mores Day. The attire was <laughs> selected to kind of fit the role of a s'more, and bear with me in case this marshmallow necklace falls off. I've been trying my best to not move so it doesn't fall, but sometimes I can't help it. We have s'more than enough in this month's package, plus an incredible set of a s'more themed get together. You know, if I get a little cold, I'm fortunate enough to have a nice fire I can warm my hands over. Later on, I'll be toasting some marshmallows. What am I going to be putting those marshmallows in? Graham cracker, of course, and placing different chocolates from this flight club into that s'more. I'm trying my best, and there we go. Anyway, despite the necklace not holding up, you know, as good as it could be, I'm still going to try to make it work, and I'm fired up, so let's get toasted. The necklace idea was incredible, I love it, but unfortunately it isn't holding up. So I'm going to see how long this lasts, and we'll just keep the ball rolling. First up for this s'more theme package is, <laughs> you guessed it, the S'mores Bar from Ritual Chocolate. The S'mores Bar from Ritual is a 70% mixed origin dark chocolate with caramelized sugar and graham cracker. The packaging is a perfect display of, you know, that campfire amber vibes that you get when you're sitting by the fire with your friends, family, whoever it may be. You know, it's, it's a really good take on a s'more in a chocolate bar format. Ritual Chocolate is out of Park City, Utah, and this bar is, again, just a testament to that summer loving. The caramelized sugar in this bar kind of does yield more of like a marshmallow taste, believe it or not. Um, it's kind of weird to think about, but at the same time, what is a marshmallow? It's basically sugar. So it, it really does work exceptionally well. I was a little you know, hesitant when first tasting it and thinking, oh, you know, another s'mores bar. But they're not just putting in, like, finished marshmallow. They're kind of, you know, implementing their own take on it. That combined with the graham cracker in the 70% dark chocolate, I mean, it kind of does taste like you're snacking on a s'more. This s'mores bar does give you s'more of a feeling, and it does kind of make you feel nice and gooey inside. And this chocolate is a mixed origin from Ritual. We're not quite done with Ritual yet because there is s'more where this came from. Our next feature this month is actually Ritual's Mid-Mountain Blend, their 70% dark chocolate. The Mid-Mountain Blend is the staple Ritual chocolate blend. It is a mixture of, you know, various cocoa origins and it just is their take on encapsulating all of their single origin bars into one finished chocolate. In the past, this chocolate has won both silver and gold at different annual Academy of Chocolate Awards. This has also won a Good Food Award. We also have some good footage from Ritual Chocolate, which covers a bit of their facility, their bean to bar process, and you'll get to meet the co-founders, Anna Sear and Robbie Stout. So, let's take a look. It all starts with the bean. It's like wine and grapes. You can't make great quality chocolate if you don't have great cacao beans. We wanted to do like a like a fine food, one that is you know, influenced by terroir, which is the flavor that is imparted by soil and climate. So much goes into what the farmers do. We sort of have this responsibility and keep that story and that quality going through to the end. My name is uh, Robbie Stout, co-founder, co-owner of Ritual Chocolate. I'm Anna Davis and I'm an owner and co-founder at Ritual Chocolate. 
It just began that we wanted to do something together, that we could put our values into. We basically just took baby steps since 2009. Um, it started with a little tiny grinder that we got and a little bag of beans and, and a trip to Costa Rica and, and then things just kind of kept happening. We were sort of fascinated by single origin chocolate. Peru, Madagascar, Belize, Ecuador, uh, those are the main uh, origins we work with. We don't add flavor to the chocolate, so everything you taste is, is a result of um, these unique cocoa beans. Uh, we take those beans and, and roast them, and then we have to remove the shell in a process called winnowing. And then we grind the nibs into basically chocolate, and at that point we add sugar, and then we have to refine that down into like a silky smooth texture using the three roll mill refiner. Still needs to be conched for three days. You don't need to be a connoisseur to taste the difference when it comes to single origin chocolate. Having grown up in Park City, uh, we, did, we realized that it would be a, you know, a great place to have a business. My great-grandparents had a candy factory in the avenues in Salt Lake in the 1920s. Here we are doing something similar a few years later. So right now we have nine bars in our line. We make about 3,000 bars a week. So our hot chocolate is just a, it's just a great drink that's good for kids, it's good for people coming off the ski slopes. It has this beautiful frothy texture. Park City has a lot of um, people coming into town and for our brand that's a really good way to you know, promote ourselves. I think we got about 30 minutes of sun left. Yeah. I don't think everyone could have a business together as a couple. And so it's actually kind of an, an asset to be in a close relationship with your business partner too, because you're always on the same page. It's like this fantastic project that we're working on together every day. It's something I would never want to do with anyone else. So our plan moving forward is to keep growing the business, um, making the best chocolate possible, and uh, to share it with as many people as we can. Exceptional work that Ritual has been able to do and grow to achieve over the years and these are some of our personal favorites from Ritual. If you don't want to enjoy them all by themselves, I would recommend, because it's the season, creating a s'more with these chocolate bars. And that just about wraps up Ritual, so we'll be moving on to our next tasting. Wouldn't you know... Alrighty, so now that we are moving on to our next tasting, I think I need to take a moment and, you know, this campfire is getting pretty hot, so I'm going to have to remove this um, jacket here and fix my necklace. So next up, we have a Conda 56% dark chocolate bar with sea salt. Conda we have covered in the past and they are a bean to bar chocolate maker made at the source. So they are harvesting, processing and packaging all of their products in Ghana, which in case you missed it, it's right here. This is one of the largest cocoa producing regions in the world. However, almost none of the cocoa produced there is actually processed there. It's typically exported to other countries for production. Conda is, you know, paving a new path for practices that are done in Ghana and specifically are putting more of a focus on the farmers at the source. Ghana, if you actually look at the map, is not all too far from Smoraco. And this chocolate with the hint of sea salt brings more of the robust, traditional chocolatey cocoa notes forward in that you have just a pinch of saltiness to counter that sweetness. Conda is a great company to be working with and we're excited that we can include a made at the source Ghana chocolate in this month's collection. And despite all of my efforts to try to make this necklace work, I'm spending far too much time working with this, more so than I am 
speaking about the chocolates. So I'm glad I could get some clips early on wearing that, but I'm going to have to graduate into not wearing it. Now that we are through our marshmallow necklace, kerfluffles, back to the chocolate. Again, some rich, robust, deep chocolatey flavors that you'll come across in this blend. We also do have a quick clip from the Oprah Magazine director, of which is tasting and sampling Conda chocolate for the first time. This was taken a couple of years ago. They did not have the sea salt option when they were reviewing the Conda chocolates, but let's take a look at what they have to say. Shout out to Conda chocolate, my new find. I love it. And Karen, the founder, she works with um, cacao bean manufacturers that are fair trade in Ghana. And this is yummy chocolate. Milk chocolate, dark and extra dark. And I will tell you, even the extra dark is really good. It's not bittery at all because sometimes extra dark, which I happen to like, gets a little rough on the taste buds. These are really good. Mmm. Pretty great content and again a great chocolate to include and make s'mores with. And you know what they say, s'more money, s'more problems, no s'mores, problems get worse. And we'll be moving on to our next tasting. Following Conda chocolate, we will be introducing a new chocolate from Jillian. Jillian is a fine Belgian chocolatier known for their chocolate seashells, of which is one of our best-selling products. We've also included some in a previous month's package. They're out of Belgium, which is right up in here, and we're featuring their 30% milk chocolate. If you can hear some banging in the background, I actually handed off my s'more necklace to a carpenter next door. He is working on fixing it. This chocolate from Jillian it actually includes four individually wrapped, almost mini bars inside of it. So once you open it up, you'll have four individually wrapped bars inside. That works perfect for s'mores, as you could have guessed. This is a classic milk chocolate taste with caramely and creamy notes. We also have a good clip about how Jillian makes their bars. So let's take a quick look and see how these are produced. And you know, that was just a quick clip to give you a first hand view of what inside their production line looks like. Jillian is a great brand. We've covered a bit about the brand itself in our past Flight Club episodes. But in case you're interested, I will link some previous videos as well as a Jillian historic timeline that I've put together on the website so you can learn you know, a bit about how they were founded in 1958 to how they came to where they are today. Again, four individually wrapped mini bars in here. This is, you know, a depiction of what one of them would look like. And you know what they say, the more the merrier. That just about wraps up our Jillian feature and we'll be moving on to our next tasting. Now that we have covered Jillian chocolate, we're actually gonna be staying a little local in Belgium and we'll be tasting Dolphine, 37% milk chocolate bar with caramelized macadamia nuts. Dolphine is also in Belgium, which again, in case you missed it the first time. The macadamia nut is actually known as the queen of nuts. And for this month's trivia, who named it the Queen of Nuts, or why is it known as the Queen of Nuts? If you know the answer, simply leave a comment in the description below, and if you get that right, you will receive free additional chocolate with your next Flight Club package. The macadamia nut does have a bit of a fine and delicate taste and does bring 
a bit of a vanilla flavor to the milk chocolate in addition to some caramel notes as these are caramelized macadamia nuts. Their milk chocolate is exceptionally creamy at a 37%. It's kind of in the higher cocoa percentage than what you typically see in the stores. And this really lives up to be a queen of chocolate bars. So we have previously covered Dolphine a handful of times and I don't want to reiterate too much of their brand detail for those who already know. So if you're interested, I will put a couple links in the description below. One is our Flight Club video in the past covering their brand as well as a video from Dolphine of their facility and production line. This bar is more or less one of the best macadamia nut infusions in a chocolate I've tasted thus far, and I can say I've tasted quite a handful of chocolates, but that's one of the reasons why we wanted to include it. Plus, it yields a nice, nutty, crunchy s'more. What else? That just about covers our Dolphine segment, and we'll be moving on to our in-flight treats. We have a bonkers bar for you. When I say that, I mean we have a literal bonkers bar for you coming from Baru Chocolate, also out of Belgium. It's up here in case you missed it the first two times. This is coming from Baru's Bonkers Bar line. I'm not actually making that up. They have a few chocolate bars that they call Bonkers, but before we get into that, let's speak a little bit about this company. Baru is a Belgian chocolatier that makes some really good and whimsical treats. So a bit about how this brand started. There were two friends who were the co-founders, Martin and Gunther. Got a little cold, I gotta throw some more wood on this fire, but until, you know, it heats up, I'm gonna be back in my, you know, puffer marshmallow jacket. When Gunther and Martin were growing up as children, they would eat marshmallows, you know, treats, confections, chocolates by the bag, and they would know and love them, and that was a staple to their childhood. Fast forward a bit, they would, you know, kind of be young adults, and they would kind of try to reminisce, consume the same products that they knew and loved as children, although as young adults, they found them ghastly and, you know, not something that they would ever consider consuming again. So they kind of put a wager up against themselves in that, all right, you grab a whisk, I'll figure out some chocolate, and let's try to make our own marshmallows and chocolate confections. After much R&D, test batches, everything, this brand came to be and is now Baru Chocolate. Historically, they've done more marshmallow, you know, kind of whimsical treats like chocolate hippos, but their new Bonkers Bar line has three chocolate bars and this is the stack pick. This is their Cookie Pop 38% milk chocolate bar with cookie and popcorn. Yes, you heard that right. We are eating popcorn in chocolate and you might be pleasantly surprised at how well this works. This bar is made with cookies, or should I say cookies? Corn, popcorn, and just a sprinkle of madness. And you know, this this will not last long. This is a fun and unique bar. Plus it's bonkers. Like you're gonna be bonkers not to like this. This will certainly make you a happy camper. And that just about wraps up our August 2023 S'mores Flight Club package. I want to thank you all again for staying subscribed and viewing these in-flight entertainment videos. It means a lot and I you know, have a lot more coming your way. Some new brands in the pipeline for early fall and you know you will be the first to taste many of their chocolates. Really excited to get that together and I hope you've enjoyed and loved this set as much as I have. I've had a lot of fun with this package. I wish our marshmallow prop necklace lasted a little bit longer, but you know, you gotta work with what you got, and we were working with marshmallows and twist ties, so it can only get you so far. You know the deal. Thank you again. Eat, sleep, breathe, chocolate. Cheers.